What's up crafters? In today's video, I'm going to go over some of the key features inside of Cricut Design Space like group, attach, weld, and flatten. So in order to get the most out of this video, I highly encourage you guys to go ahead and open up Cricut Design Space on your computers. That way you guys can get a hands-on feel for what it is that we're doing and you can see these things as they unfold right before your eyes. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and pop on over to Cricut Design Space. So from the home page, what you're going to want to do is go to the top right corner and we're going to go ahead and select new project. A blank screen will pop up looking something similar to this. The first thing that we want to do is create a couple of shapes. On the left hand side, you're going to notice a shapes button. Select that and we're going to bring in a square and a circle. Now that we have our shapes, we're going to go ahead and change the colors of them so that you can visually see everything that I'm talking about. So selecting the square in the background, you're going to notice that the top toolbar, the options have changed a little bit. Find the operations section and select that gray box. A drop down menu is going to pop up and it's going to show you different colors that you can select. I'm going to go ahead and go with purple and then I'm going to repeat the process for the circle and I'm going to go with a green. Your screen should look something like this. Now, since we're going to be going over a few different features, you can go ahead and copy and paste this setup three more times for our attach, group, weld, and flatten. By now, your screen should look something like this. I went ahead and added some text just so that you can see and keep track of exactly what it is that we're doing at all times during the video. So the first feature that we're going to play with is the grouping feature. Now you guys can do this of one of three ways. You can either select the entire thing, right click and group. You can select everything and you'll notice in the top right hand corner, the toolbar underneath the layers and color sync, there's a group option or you can select everything again and using the keyboard, hold down control and then select the G key. Those three ways will group the item the exact same way. So for the attach setup, we're gonna go ahead and select everything here, right click and attach, or you can also use the um, Cricut button in the bottom right hand corner and you can go to attach. So for our weld group, go ahead and select everything, right click and do weld or you can use the button in the bottom right hand corner and for our flatten group we're going to go ahead and select everything right click and flatten or again you can use the bottom right hand corner where it says flatten all right so you'll notice that when we did that our shapes kind of changed a little bit i went ahead and recreated the square and the circle just so that we can compare exactly how they've changed so you'll notice in our original design we can select the square move that and the circle and move that readjust the sizing we can manipulate these things freely exactly how we want for the group if you select that you'll see that everything is kind of stuck together. We've essentially put it inside of a Ziploc baggie and we're just moving a baggie around. If we go to resize it or adjust it, it's selecting everything and it's resizing everything. It's moving everything. So moving on to the attach feature, if you were to move this setup, you'll notice that everything kind of moves the same way that the group feature did. It also scales the same way that the group feature did. It's almost like we put it in a baggie. The biggest difference to notice here is that with our group feature, our group still maintained its original colors, but in attach, everything went to one color. This is gonna be important for the make it part. Now, comparing weld to our original setup, you'll notice that we no longer have a square and a circle. We have a really odd shape. So comparing flatten to our original setup, flatten moves as one piece. It kept the colors like our group setup did, but if you look at the details, you'll notice that while all of these other sections have a kind of gray outline around them, this one doesn't. If you look at the layers panel on the right hand side, you'll also see that just like weld, our flatten is just one shape. So what exactly does this mean? Well, let's go ahead and just go to make it so I can really show you. So our flatten section has actually created a print and cut setup. This is going to print out and then it's going to cut around the entire outline of this design. Let's move on to the next mat. So moving on to the next mat, you'll see our original and our group text. 
This just means that our group setup is being treated normally. Cricut is categorizing the colors and moving those shapes to the different mats. So moving on to our third mat, you're gonna see two circles. One of these circles is from our original design and the second circle is actually from the group design. So falling back to the previous mat, this just goes to show that that group function is still treating everything inside of that little Ziploc baggie as its own individual shape. So moving on to the final mat, you're gonna notice a couple of things here. So we have the two boxes, one being from our reference and one of them being from our group. So falling back to what I mentioned on the second and the third mat, our group function is still treating everything like its own individual piece inside of that Ziploc bag. So for this mount, we're gonna focus on the attach and that weld function. So attach took everything that we had in that function and essentially glued it together. So you can see that the square is cut from that circle. It's created different shapes and your Cricut machine is going to cut along that black outline. Next to that, you're gonna see that weld kinda of took everything that we used in that function and made it its own shape. So where attached is going to cut out that square still and the circle because the circle was on the top layer, weld isn't going to do that. It's going to go along the outline of everything. So when are you going to use these different kind of functions? So group is going to be perfect for when you're working inside of Cricut Design Space and you kind of just want to move everything in one swoop, add additional text or elements to your design, and really kind of just move things in chunks. Your machine is still going to recognize each individual layer, each individual color, and it's still going to cut them the way that it needs to be, but this is just going to help you navigate your design a lot better by using the group function. So the attach function simply freezes everything exactly where it is. This is perfect for when you import those SVG files that have multiple colored layers to them. If you're wanting to make it an easy process for when you cut the design and then line everything back up, attach is perfect for that. So another thing to keep in mind with the attach function is because it's essentially freezing everything exactly where it is, you might not get the most out of your vinyl. For example, if you have a yellow sunflower up here and a yellow smiley face down here, your Cricut machine, because you've attached it and frozen it in place, it is going to cut it out exactly like that. You're gonna have a lot of empty space here. Normally, Cricut will move this piece down here and kind of float it up here so that you're getting the most out of your vinyl. That's just something that you might wanna keep in mind if you go to use that feature. So for the weld feature, if you're using a cursive font inside of Cricut Design Space, make sure you weld that. Welding your cursive fonts inside of Design Space creates a whole new level of professionalism for your finished products. Using the weld function, you can also overlay different shapes to create new things. For example, if you were to take a bunch of circles and overlay them together, you could create something like a flower. You can also use boxes and triangles to create a house. So welding will give you the ability to go a little bit further and create inside of design space. If your end goal is to create stickers or some form of printable vinyl, use that flatten feature by uploading different SVGs, elements, clip arts, patterns, things like that. You can create a lot of really cool things inside of Cricut Design Space and flattening that feature. By flattening all that artwork, you're creating one printable piece and you're letting your machine know, hey, treat this as a print and cut function. So your machine is automatically going to make those adjustments when you go to the make it function. If you found this video helpful, be sure to follow me over here. I go over that contour feature and how you can use that to create awesome illustrations inside of Cricut Design Space. Until next time, guys.